Welcome to module two. We're going to start looking at things like exponents. So what do we got here? We got x squared minus 81 all equals zero and we want to solve for x. Well, many of the rules we looked at in module one still apply. We want to solve for x. Okay, so we got x squared minus 81 equals zero. Well, we're still going to do reverse bed mass. So we're going to start with subtraction, worry with exponent later, and we got to get the x on its own. So if I'm going to get rid of an 81, a minus 81, what do I got to do? Well, I'm going to have to add 81 to both sides. And these will cancel. So I'm left with x squared equaling 81. Now, we got to get rid of the squared. And what a lot of people will think immediately is to do square root. Because that's what we're taught. Squared, square root, cancel each other out. Well, that's a specific case of more general rule. When we want to get rid of an exponent, what we actually do is put it to the power of the inverse of the number. So we actually want to put this to the power of one half. And now putting to the power of one half actually is the same as square root. When we do square root, that's what we're actually doing, putting it to the power of one half. And so why does that work in this case? Well, two to the power of one half, when we do this, we have to multiply them together so we get two over two or one x to the power of 1, anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So these cancel out. If we had something to the power of 3, we'd put it to the power of 1 third, because then 3 over 3 is 1, and it would cancel. So again, you might think of this as square root, maybe that's how you still prefer to think of it, but it's putting it to the power of 1 half to get rid of it. We get x on this side, and then yeah, 81 to the power of 1 half, or the square root of 81, is 9. But the thing is, 9 to the power of 2, or 9 squared, is 81, but so is minus 9. Minus 9 times minus 9 is 81 as well. So in this case, there's actually two solutions. Something we might not be used to, but something we've got to watch for, these kind of problems have two solutions, because both the minus and the plus will work. So, thank you.